Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and today we'll be doing the in-depth review of this TP-Link Gigabit Ethernet Router and the model name for this is WR1043ND uh, and the good thing about this router is that it's a 300 Mbps router that works on the 2.4 GHz uh, band and we have 4 gigabit ethernet ports and I have been testing this router now for almost 3 weeks and the good thing about this TP-Link router is that compared to other Wi-Fi gigabit ethernet routers this is priced approximately about 30 to 40 percent less so let's have a detailed look at this router and let's see how it performs and this is how the actual router looks and you can mount it like this or you can also mount it in this way if you like let me first give you a physical overview uh, first let us start from the back on the back you'll find three antennas and these and the good thing about this antennas are that they are removable so you can easily screw them out and if you have a high gain antenna you can easily attach the same but even with the stock antenna the performance is really good and we have the power adapter goes in here we have the reset pin over here we have one usb port this is a usb 2 port and we have one van port again this is a gigabit port and we have four ethernet ports which are all gigabit again moving to this side we have uh, nothing but just this design and again on this side also we have something like that and we have the tp link logo over here and if we go towards the back uh, we have vents here nothing else and we have quite a few leds led lights over here i'll show you that when i power on the router now uh, coming to the usb 2 uh, port i tested it with the, what do you say a portable hard drive and even a usb stick and i would say the performance of the usb port on this router is just average while testing it under windows I saw a write speed of just about 3.8 MB per second and I got a read speed of just 4.5 MB per second. Needless to say that is just average but this router is DLNA compatible so I was able to see media content that was stored on the USB drive to my media enabled devices like WDTV, PS3 and even Xbox 360. So if you want to just surf media related content, this router can do that stuff. But again, if you are looking to store a lot of material and use it like a mini NAS, then I would not recommend this router. Also the USB sharing does not work on the Mac. I was not able to find the shared devices on a Mac computer, but TP-Link does support FTP services and that using FTP I was able to transfer file on a Mac and with FTP I got some good results the write I got was 5.8 MB per second and read speeds of 9 MB per second now let me show you uh, the router when it's switched on so this is how the router looks when it's connected and barred on and uh, I feel the router gets heated up a little bit the top portion gets a little bit warm when it's on and I'll show you some of the LEDs and first we have the power led and that is always on and next we have the system led and this one links continuously and next we have the WLAN that's the wireless LAN and strangely even when there is no wireless activity this continuously gets blinked and when there's a lot of wireless activity actually the blinking stops and it glows continuously a little bit strange again we have four LEDs for the four Ethernet gigabit ports four three two and one and next we have the WAN port this will also blink when it's connected and next we have the usb port link if you have connected uh, a usb uh, 2 device at the back this will glow and next we have the qss option and it gives the model name of the router and we also have a physical button for the qss now let me briefly show you the admin interface of this tp link router and you can add access the admin by going to the 192.168.1.1 1 .1. this is the default i did not change anything and after logging in we get this and i just want to show you that i've been using this router now for approximately about a week and as you can see the uptime is about eight days and the router has been performing uh, flawlessly i'm using this router as my primary router for testing and i did not have any issues with the same and you do get a lot of uh, settings uh, you can set up your wi-fi network easily and uh, you can also change your mode to just BG or N 
and we can also toggle the rate uh, as you can see it has given us a lot of uh, rates to toggle your wi-fi rates and we can also easily configure our uh, basic security like firewall etc and we can also control the bandwidth if you like this is uh, rarely found in most of the routers but you can do it with this router if you like and uh, for guys who is using a nas or something like that this router does support ddns service the most important thing according to me while testing a wi-fi router is the wi-fi range and in this aspect this tp uh, link router excelled and if you have been following my videos i have divided this apartment into four zones and i test uh, the wi-fi performance of all the routers in those zones these zones are the a b c and d and generally all the routers perform great in the zone a and b but uh, zone c that is around 33 feet away from the router and we have two physical walls some of the routers start to show the weaknesses and generally in zone d most of the routers uh, perform bad because it's almost 50 feet away from the router and we have three physical walls between and uh, with zone a as expected i got great results uh, zone a is just five feet away from the router and there is no obstacle between the router and the laptop from which i was testing the wi-fi performance and i got a throughput rate of 59 megabits per second uh, in zone A and zone B I do all my multimedia testing and this zone B is approximately 23 feet away from the router and we have one physical wall between the router and the target device and here I do all my multimedia testing and I uh, also streamed a lot of HD media like 1080p and 720p videos and I did not have any problems with the same and I got a throughput of about 63 Mbps per second on the zone B which is one of the highest results I have seen till date on a 2.4 gigahertz 130 mbps speed for any Wi-Fi router again in zone C that is 33 feet away from the router I got a throughput of about 38 mbps per second which is really good because uh, in zone C I test one HD video feed and generally all the routers fail to transmit that HD feed on the zone C but this router I was able to stream that HD feed even in the zone C so even in zone C I got great Wi-Fi throughput and a very strong signal again moving to zone D which is the furthest and this is approximately 50 feet away from the router and I got a throughput of 19 megabits per second again this is the highest I have seen again in the terms of Wi-Fi performance uh, the range was exceptionally good because of the three antennas I tested with the stock antennas and TP-Link also sells uh, external antennas if you would like to further increase the range you can just uh, remove the default antennas and put the high gain antennas thereby you can get even further Wi-Fi range but even with the default antennas the Wi-Fi range was exceptionally good so these are the raw throughput results so that you can compare the same uh, the bottom one is for this current tp-link router that we are testing and as you can see we got great results and even if you compare it to expensive routers like netgear or osis this router performed brilliantly so in terms of raw performance i didn't face any issues with the router it was rock stable i had uh, the router switched on for continuously for about nine days and during this time the router did not even reboot once under even load i tested for load testing i connected six wi-fi devices simultaneously and three computers were wired connection and i was transferring data uh, through them and then also the router performed brilliantly and moving to the gigabit ports also i was able to transfer files at the rate of 900 mbps per second to my nas and again this is great so even uh, the gigabit performance of this router is very good so in terms of raw performance of the router i do not have any problems the only weak spot that i see is the usb port on the router which the usb performance of the the usb port on the router the performance of the USB port on the router according to me is just mediocre and now what we are doing is we are testing the power efficiency of this router and I have connected two computers to the same. Now I am transferring a file from my computer to NAS and also the Wi-Fi is switched on so you can say that the router is being actively used now and it consumes approximately about 5 watts of power when the router is being actively used. When the router is not heavily used, I have seen it to go down to about 4.5 watts. 
So you can safely assume that the was router consumed approximately about 5 watts of power. Also I forgot to mention earlier that this router is compatible with third party firmware like DDWRT and I'm going to test this router by loading DDWRT on the same and I'll make another video uh, while using this router with DDWRT. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this portable hard drive to the router and let's see how much more power does it consume. I've just connected it and as you can see uh, it increases to approximately about 8 watts when a USB hard drive is connected. I tested it even with the USB pen drive and it consumes a little bit less. So you can roughly say if you have connected a portable hard drive to this router it will consume approximately about 7.5 to 8 watts of power. So I'm just going to remove this USB now. And the power consumption goes back to about 5 watts. This is with two computers connected via the gigabit port and the Wi-Fi is also active. So how do I overall rate this router? Based on the price and the performance of this router, I give a big thumbs up to this router. And this is a very good router if you are in the market looking for a mid-range gigabit ethernet router. And this product gets a big thumbs up from me. I hope you found this video review helpful. If you found it helpful, please click on the like button given below. That will help me. Uh, that's it for now. This is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and I hope to see you in my next video.